record. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm upright. I'm mobile. I'm sort of awake, but I'm working on that. I have coffee, protein coffee, to help me get the day started. Um, I probably would still be laying in the bed, but um, Romeo apparently had another cat with him. And uh, they got on top of the house and were running around the house like a pair of like a pair of cows, because it was like clop 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 clop. <laughs> so I got up to see what the deal was um, and confirmed it was another cat. There was a little black and white fluffy sort of cat that took off as soon as he heard my voice when I came outside. Um, and Rome it was just up on top of the corner of the house just chilling. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised since I have seen him on top of the garage. Um, but anyway, so with the state of everything at work with the ALF, I've had a lot of things on my mind. Y'all quit bullying each other. Please be sweet. <laughs> um, chillings. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm not the type to let things dissuade me when I know that I'm doing the appropriate thing by the patients that I'm taking care of. And I had somebody actually point out to me that um, now that I the DON that was I was working under is gone. Her last day was um, Thursday, which is really kind of sad because she was a very nice lady. And, you know, she actually gave a crap. <laughs> Um, I had somebody point out to me, oh, well, you should try to be the D.O.N. And I said flat out no to that. Um, that I did not work, I did not want to even risk the prospect of working under this administrator because there have been three different D.O.N.s under her since she's come in. Um, she completely negates what we do as nurses, um, she doesn't care about people's safety, the patients, the, the employees, nothing. Um, so long as she brings money in and she looks good, that's all she cares about. And that's really not what this is supposed to be about. Um, but I also had it pointed out to me that, you know, well, well you could be the, you could be an administrator and I've done some research and apparently, um, there is training courses where you can, um, complete the training course and take testing and everything and then be certified as an assisted living administrator. So, um, it's not really expensive, which, you know, I was really kind of surprised about because, you know, such as it is, um, you know, you're on call, you're, you are the end all be all, you answer for any, every, anything and everything in the building at the end of the day. So I was really kind of surprised, but I've got it in my mind that I think I want to do the training for that so that I have it in my pocket as an option and, um, you know, see if maybe I could find somewhere where I could establish myself as like a DON or an ALF which would be amazing. I mean, even though I love the patient care, the direct patient care, and I love interacting with the patients, I can still do that. Um, but this allows me to help them overall by maintaining a standard of care um, for everybody. And it's not just me affecting people one-to-one, -one, the selective few that I see in the mornings every day. Um, so I've got that on my mind, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, they make more money, which is never a bad thing, you know, especially given the fact that you're taking on a lot more responsibility. Um, but that's not really my aim. Like I said, with dealing with this particular administrator and how little she actually cares, you know, that saying is, yeah, be the change you want to see in the world. And that's really kind of where I'm leading into this from. Um, for every bad thing, whether it be a bad nurse, a bad administrator, a bad cop, a bad cook, a bad customer service representative, you know, whatever, insert job field here. For every bad one of those, there is one of equally good 
you know, and I would really, if I could do this and possibly cancel out this lady that is currently running this facility, if I could cancel her out in that energy of being a bad person, a bad administrator, um, at the bare minimum, I would at least feel like I'm accomplishing something because there's not a lot in this particular circumstance that I acknowledge right off hand that I can do um, against her because, I mean, corporate came in, there were several um, anonymous reports made to corporate and corporate came in and they uh, basically just kind of swept things under the rug and said the same thing that they've been saying. Oh, well, we're going to try to work on getting this guy out of here and da 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 but no forward motion is actually being made. Um, so, realistically, I think the next step is that it's going to take some... Um, it's going to take some intervention from an outside entity, you know, to force their hand, you know. So, um, I don't know. But, you know... Those are my thoughts. Like I said, not all the way awake. Just kind of figured I'd check in. I mean, I've been gone for a couple of days. Um, the last time you guys saw me was on Hannibal's uh, live. And even then, you know, I was only there for a little while um, to speak specifically to the topic at hand and to, um, you know, just kind of clear up some bullshittery that was being fed through from the, uh, the situation. So, um, I don't know what my day today is going to entail. I know I've got to go to the store to pick up a couple of things. I'm going to do some cleaning. Um, may do a video. Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you guys will know when I know. <laughs> um, I know as crazy as it sounds. It, it's just been, um, it's just been kind of touch and go with things because my dad was supposed to be coming down this weekend based on the conversation that he had with me last and that we were supposed to go out and finally fix the fence that got knocked over <laughs> and I haven't heard from him and he hasn't said I'm not coming or I'm, I'm coming down th I'm coming down Monday I'm coming down this day or I've changed my mind or whatever. I mean, there's been nothing. He's been radio silent. Um, and I've kind of been in a holding pattern because, you know, I told you guys that I got a second job through agency. And because I have been waiting on him, I haven't scheduled any shifts for this weekend. And I'm fixing to give up on him and just say, screw it and schedule some, schedule at least one shift so that, you know, I can kind of uh, make a couple of extra dollars. Because while I'm sitting here waiting on him, I'm not accomplishing really anything. The fence is not getting fixed. I'm not making any money. You know, I'm just here. I'm spending my days hanging out with the cats and being a bum. So, <laughs> yeah, something's got to give here. Um, so, yeah, that just checking in for now. Just figured I would let you guys know where I'm at, where my thoughts are. What the happenings are, that I'm still alive, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, um... Especially since I haven't had a whole lot to say since I uploaded all the stuff from my birthday celebration um, last weekend. So, I'm here. Let's see where the day takes us. <laughs>